There he is. Get down, big boy. Look at that, guys. Isn't he magical? Hey you guys, welcome back to another one. This is Ben from Spitting Tracks Pheasantry, and I'm glad you are here. Don't I do all my intros like that? I know, it's getting kind of boring. It's getting kind of old. I get bored easy. Sometimes I bore myself. But anyways, I'm glad you guys are here, and today I didn't really have much of an idea on this video, so I'm just gonna kind of wing it. And I was strolling by my Lady Amherst pan, and I thought, hey, let's do a Lady Amherst video. He's all dancing around like he's hot stuff. Hey, let's check him out. There he is. Get down, big boy. Look at that, guys. Isn't he magical? Wow. What you're looking at here, besides the two hens, is the son of Majestic. Those who've been following me for a while know the story. I used to have a pheasant that was really close to me, a very good Lady Amherst pheasant. And I called him the Majestic Lady Amherst pheasant. Well, he has moved on to bird heaven or to the wilderness, I don't know. I thought in his retirement plan, I would let him free range. Well, when I let him free range, um, he flew up in a tree and from there he flew on to God knows where. Anyways, it didn't work out. I thought for sure, you know, I had that feeling it worked out. It didn't. I was wrong. Anyways, I lost a good bird. Can't do with the Lady Amherst around here. Maybe you can, but I can't. That's free ranging, that is. Um, but anyways, I have his sons. And this is one of them right here. And I call him the son of Majestic because he is the one that reminds me of his daddy the most. Look at that. I mean, his father, when I'd come out here with the camera, or anybody actually would come out here, he would jump up off his roost and uh, start displaying. He would spread that cape out and he just thought it was showtime. Sort of like Mr. Electric does. Yeah, so I was just walking out here thinking, what can I do for a cool video? And this guy is what's happening right here at the pheasantry. He's the only one doing cool stuff right now. I mean, look at him, guys. Beautiful. Well, anyways. Gus heard all the commotion. You heard all the commotion. And my cat, too. Okay, but the son of Majestic. You guys hear him hissing like that? I don't know what other word you would call it, but... To me, it sounds like a hiss. Right when he displays. Watch, listen, listen carefully. You hear that, guys? Oh yeah, he's on fire. Not many, not many pheasants can dance that good. Plays like Mr. Electric and me. Well, I'm not a pheasant, but you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, beautiful bird. I could watch this guy all day. And here's my other one right here. Now, here we go. Yeah. He's another good line up right here, guys. Very proud of this bird as well. I'm very proud of all the Lady Amherst I got, guys. Um, yeah, it's one of the birds that I am looking forward to the most for chicks this season because um, Now this is how dedicated I am guys now. I had another lady Amherst. He was kind of rough with the females He looked good and I got some chicks from him a couple years ago, but he I Don't know how to put this he was fine and everything and looks his temperament was off He was a little rough with the girls. So I wanted to step away from breeding towards his line now, the Son of Majestic, I'm gonna breed towards him. 
and I have um, a couple other lines, like I was saying, that um, are going to help out with that breeding program. So a lot of genetic ver diversity here, and um, I have a, a lot of burrs to keep this bloodline going, or these bloodlines going. So I'm very excited about it. But let me talk about last year. Now I narrowed it down. Besides the uh, majestic lady Amherst pheasant, which he free ranged as a retirement, I had all yearlings last year. And um, how dedicated I am was I, you know, didn't have other mature Lady Amherst to breed from just to have numbers. I wanted to go in those yearlings directions. So we have a chicken going crazy. You guys hear that? Anyways, I wanted to go in a certain direction. And if I got nothing out of those yearlings last year, which are these guys right now, um, then I'd have to wait another year. So now's that time so i've uh put all my eggs in these baskets <laughs> if you will so let's see how it goes with these guys i'm pretty excited about it i think we're gonna get some good ones guys and um and i'm not just gonna give these guys away um i spent years into this breeding program and i'm just glad in the direction i'm going so yeah stay in touch guys and yeah i can't wait to share those with you so i was about to walk away when these lady amherst weren't ready to let me go so when they display like that and they're hissing and stuff and i got a camera out i got to get me some footage now you're not going to see much with me uh standing this far from their aviary but you can see the male there going off now he was one of the yearlings from last year that i said if i didn't get any chicks from i just wait till next year I don't settle for mediocre, mediocre birds just to have numbers, you know, and I'm very picky and I don't know if you guys agree with me or on this at all, but if I have one bird that will throw off something that I don't like, let's say signs of hybridization or something like that, I'll get rid of the whole line, the whole, all, anything related, gone. So the birds I have now, they've never had an issue in that department. Yeah. A few years back, I did, no, more than a few years, it was a while ago, but I did have some bad blood, you know, and uh, I found out just after one season that these Lady Amherst, not these, but the ones I had years back, yeah, there was one male who threw off, threw off offspring every, and every now and then they looked, you know, wishy-washy, a little golden blood in there maybe or something. Anyways, um, that happened one season. I got rid of the whole line. It's almost like I had to start over. But I have years into these guys right here. And I'm not turning back. Yeah, he's going off. Do you guys see him? Let me try to get closer. I don't want to ruin his mood because I need fertile eggs, you know? Hey, buddy. Looks like she jumped up on the pole there. Maybe she's not ready. And also, here's a fun fact, guys. This pin right here was also the Majestic Lady Hammer's pin. And it's kind of cool that his son is now taking over. So. Yep, this is my Lady Amherst video, so i got to show more than these guys though, right? Let me see if I can find some more pictures of of the Majestic Lady Amherst pheasant. Do a little B-roll action or something. Yeah. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but this dawned on me not too long ago is that when I started the YouTube channel, this YouTube channel, um, I didn't... Um, I didn't have Majestic, I don't believe, or the Majestic Lady Amherst Pheasant wasn't with me, you know, because I, he's on Instagram and Facebook, but I started YouTube quite a bit later. I don't know, I have to dig up some old YouTube videos or, or something, see, or I, maybe I can pull from Instagram and Facebook. I don't know, try to get something going. Anyways, guys, here you go.
Okay guys, now's that time where I sign off and wish you guys will all like and subscribe. And well, that of course means if you're not subscribed yet. But um, yeah, this has been a Spitting Tracks Pheasantry. Glad you guys joined me for my little Lady Amherst update. If you guys have any questions about anything or have any ideas, something you wanna see, just hit me up, let me know, and um, I'll be glad to show you. All right, you guys, we'll, we'll catch you on the next one. Signing off, Ben. Peace. No losses, I don't do lipo. A few screws loose in the head, I'm a psycho. Promise you the bar, just as real as the bite, though. Misunderstood, you can call me a typo. I, I shine hotter than the stars in the night.